Hi, Leo. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the King of Pentacles. So with the Three of Wands, you know, I like to think of this card as the ex Explorer's card, the Exploration, because it's uh, taking stock and looking at your big picture, the long view, what's next. You can see he's looking out into the horizon. There are ships in the sea. Some say it's a matter of whether your ship comes in, but really he's thinking about the initial stages of, of um, really manifesting what's next, the path, getting so much closer into bringing it into reality. And so with the wands, we're getting a sense of follow your passions, follow your enthusiasms, the things that make you feel energetic and inspired, and take the long view, see the big picture. You may have to coordinate all, you know, all the pieces that are behind it, and that takes some time and takes consideration. But it really is a sense of exploring, and it's the sense of exploring, exploring and the sense of adventure for where your life is going to take you. So if there's been a few things on your mind about, well, maybe I would like to do this, or maybe I would like to pursue this path, you know, it's time to really start to shape the plan. Think about where you wanna be in six months, in a year, perhaps, you know, three years. Some people look at a five-year plan. And that's really what the Three of Wands is uh, giving to us. It's the, the idea of looking at the long view and how best is it going to fulfill your needs when it comes to feeling passionate and fulfilled from, from work, from relationships, whatever it may be. On a literal level, sometimes with the Three of Wands, this could be uh, things relating to commerce, things relating to um, uh, business, contracts, purchases, and uh, travel as well. So then we have the Seven of Pentacles, and here the man is taking a break from tending to the pentacle bush. And you know he's doing pretty well. He has seven pentacles here. And he's kind of looking at them uh, wistfully. So there's a thinking here that sometimes when we're putting our all into projects, that maybe it's not such a bad idea to take a step back and to think about our effort, our result, how's the progress, how are we tracking. And if it's not proceeding as you hope it is, then it, you can make a few tweaks and you can modify it to get it back into the place you want to go. There's another thinking here that is this, is, this is the card that is telling you to have patience, be patient, to build something meaningful and good and to prosper from it takes time. And it takes your energy and it takes your thoughtfulness and it takes your resources to be able to nurture it, to take care of it. So if you are working on an idea to manifest, you know, this, although you may feel that it's not happening fast enough, there's a message here to hang, hang in there, keep at it. It's okay to take a break, to assess, to rest up perhaps. But don't lose sight of the big goal, which is ultimately if you keep working at it, and working at it, you will build it. You will be able to harvest these wonderful pentacles from your tree. So I think it's an interesting message and particularly here with the King of Pentacles because the King of Pentacles is the master of his suit of pentacles. He has experience and he is uh, the embodiment of being successful and of being uh, maybe a little cautious but someone who has planned and worked hard along the way to have abundance, to have prosperity, to build a firm financial foundation. 
So this is a message of taking your time that sometimes it takes a while for the benefits to come to us, the stability, the prosperity, building uh, a strong foundation. So the King of Pentacles could be telling you to pay attention to your finances, to make sure that you're you know, keeping up, that maybe you have a budget in place. It could be connecting with other business-minded people to get good counsel or good advice for nurturing and for exploration, for leadership, for your long view. He is a wonderful source of uh, experience, someone who can tell you the pitfalls as you're beginning new projects or trying to make them uh, profitable or to make them successful. He enjoys comfort and he's grounded and pragmatic. So he's going to take uh, pretty much the, the most common sense route towards building success, building a strong financial base, building abundance, however you define abundance, but you know, uh, nurturing time, you may feel impatient. You may want the process to move much quicker, but there's a message here, which is if you need to take a break, do so, but don't quit and don't give up. Your big picture relies on it and be smart, be pragmatic, work your plan and then get at it. You know, it takes, it takes effort and strong thinking in order to capture your dreams to reach your dreams, to make accomplishments. So uh, an interesting spread for Friday, very grounded with the pentacles, but very much again, to bring the future into a reality. It takes some behind the scenes, energy, effort, and thinking. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have three and seven is 10 and 11. So here we have the master number again, the master number 11, which is about service. It's about wisdom. It's about generosity and uh, being kind. And so again, you can be of service in so many different ways, not just limited to writing a check or making a donation, but of giving your time, giving your support to someone else creates a beautiful ripple effect throughout the world when we focus on helping others. And then finally, I'm going to choose an Oracle card and we'll get a little more information for the day. Slowing down. interesting and here we see the turtle so we know that the turtle is moving at a at his own pace and ultimately the turtle is going to get to his destination so the slowing down i think is quite interesting because i would view the king of pentacles as someone who is very measured and someone who isn't going to rush and do a rush job it's someone who's going to take their time look at the big picture, look for the end result, try to do their best possible job. So slowing down is work at your pace. And if you need to take a break here with the seven of pentacles to take a time out, to catch up, to, to think about the process, then that's fabulous. But ultimately we know the turtle's going to reach his destination on his time. And I think that that's an important message on your time. You create the momentum and then you fulfill it the way that works best for you. So that's what I have for you for Friday. I hope that you found something helpful here today. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. I want to thank each and every one of you who take the time to watch. I am very, very grateful. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.